Hi Scorpio, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you are new here. So this is going to be kind of a short little um, mini reading sort of on what messages need to come through from your angels and from your guides. Just anything important that needs to come up right now at the time that you're watching the reading. So I'm just going to tune into your energy and sort of channel these messages with a few cards as well. And hopefully there's gonna be something in here that can kind of be at the right time for you to find it. So whenever you do find it, this can serve as confirmation or just some quick kind of messages for you. So whatever comes through. So let's see, so Scorpio, what is your message right now from your guides, from your angels? So Spirit, tune me into the energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. What is the message right now? Any important messages for Scorpios? Scorpio, I feel like one thing coming up here, some of you could actually be going through, it's almost like you're in a tunnel here. So you could find that right now is a time for you to really dive deep into your intuition. Um, your guides really want you to focus on your intuition. They want you to focus on, um, it's like you're going through a rebirth right now. So you're going through a rebirth, but this rebirth for you has a lot to do with your spiritual awakening. Um, and also it could kind of feel maybe like things are a little bit mysterious or things are a little bit hidden from you. Uh, maybe even like a bit of a void period that you're in. But this is one message coming through. Let's see, Scorpio, what we have here. Yeah, they actually want you to know that after you come out of this little tunnel kind of thing, um, there's going to be this surge of light coming into your energy and into your life. It feels like you're actually on the edge of, um, or on the, like the end of the tunnel. So if you find that things are kind of hidden, or if you find that things are not totally clear for you, some of you, I'm actually hearing that you're going to get a letter or a message here. This could bring you a lot of happiness. Your guides want you to know. Um, I want to confirm that in a moment here, there could be some message or letter coming through or just some news, okay? Something that's gonna kind of make you feel excited, make you feel invigorated. Um, could be a new person for some of you. So Scorpio, what do your guides want you to know? Your angels and guides. So they also want you to know that, again, if you're going through any type of storm at the moment, or if you have a storm coming into your life, they want you to build strength, I'm hearing. So this could actually be even physical exercise could be really important right now. I'm being told this could be focusing on strength training or anything to do with your body. Um, but I feel that... Some of you may realize something in your life. It could be, again, about a mystery, a secret in your life, or something about a person even. And I'm hearing something about three. So like three strikes or three times is the charm. So just be aware of anything that could kind of cause a storm for you, because I think that um, at the end of this tunnel is where you're going to be focusing on your happiness. Um, Scorpio, what is your messages right now? Also, one thing coming up as advice from your guides is to really spend time when you meditate, envision roots coming down from your feet and from your root chakra, and sort of imagine as if the like the the residue kind of of your aura is seeping down, almost like water. It's like they're showing me the soil, like a wet soil and they're showing it kind of going down into the ground. So I think that right now is the time of you releasing and purging. Um, and if you haven't done so, it could be really great for you with the storm here too. We have lightning and rain. So yeah, there could be like a lot of cleansing happening for you at the moment with the number 10 coming through as well. And I think that it's really important for you to honor that and to it, it kind of allow yourself that time to cleanse your energy and to allow anything negative to kind of go down into the earth okay that can really help you to feel more stable so let's see scorpio what else 
because they want you to be free okay spirit saying they want you to be free nine of wands i think this is also a time that you could feel that you're kind of on the edge again you're in this tunnel or you're on the edge of something and it could sort of feel like you're also a little bit exhausted even or feeling weighed down maybe a lot of obligations or things to do or um, again for some of you with the five of swords internal conflict things that you're very indecisive about and so as you carry this heavy weight with the Ten of Wands, that's why they want you to release this, because they want you to be free, to experience freedom. Um, the Tower, wow. And Scorpio. What else for Scorpio? What is your message? The Nine of Cups. So again, there you have a wish fulfillment coming in. Let's see. What is this wish fulfillment for Scorpio? What is this Nine of Cups? Again, I'm seeing some of you focusing on your body, your physical health. Okay, I feel like this is definitely a time some of you could experience a lot of um, like surge of financial abundance even with the Ten of Pentacles here. But I'm being shown specifically, it has a lot to do with your body, your physical body, your home, which all connects together. But I feel like this is going to be a time for you to focus on that Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the door to personal healing, happiness, and cornucopia. So it's like this tower moment that's happening for you will help you to purge anything that's not meant for you or anything that you kind of need to change directions with the indecision here, change paths. And the cornucopia, Ten of Pentacles. Again, I'm getting you're hearing good news, okay? Spirit saying you're going to hear good news, the hanged man. If you're waiting, some of you, this is specific, but justice reverse. If you're waiting for something, because I'm being told tying up loose ends. So whatever is being tied up here, I don't know what's happening, but whatever is being kind of having to be tied up, because this feels like, you know, the ton of... Um, the hanged man, the justice reverse, storm warning. This feels like all this kind of jumble of negativity or things that are that are heavy. The the tunnel we have over here, the goddess of the moon. Um, if you're waiting for good news about either a situation that has left you hanging, some type of situation here, I feel like you are going to receive good news about this. It's going to go in your favor. So even if it kind of leads you into a different direction, it's going to go in your favor. So the justice reverse will be kind of put into the justice upright with this cornucopia. But I think that it's going to also come down to you being able to release those things, release what doesn't serve you, and also release... Um, so that you can focus on what's important with the Ten of Pentacles here. So expect a positive shift, expect um, some type of wish fulfillment here, and also not even just the wish fulfillment, but it has a lot to do with you being able to kind of be open to receive that. Um, anything else, Spirit, about this? Let's get one more card for you from your guides, angels. What do they want you to know, Scorpio? Connect with your emotions. So some of you have been avoiding your emotions, I'm hearing spirits say. So if you have been feeling like you've been avoiding your emotions, try to reconnect with them. Try to understand your emotions, feel them. Again, maybe do a meditation to release them and to really honor what you're feeling right now because what you're feeling is actually going to bring you closer to alignment to something better with this tower here in the Ten of Wands. So it feels like this is a really great time to do that. So one last message here, Scorpio. What do your guys, angels, want you to know? I'm hearing for you that some of you have um, all chakras being activated. There's a rainbow light here too. Some of you could be a star seed as well. And actually there's a huge, yeah, lots of huge healing happening for you. The snake, the tower. Um, if you do work with a certain guide here there's something invoking rainbow light or rainbow energy to sort of like cleanse and release all from all of your chakras like complete healing here so that's something also coming through from your guide specifically a star guide star guide here for you 
Um, I don't know why I said that twice, but that's something coming through. So connect with that, connect with your star family if you feel called to, because I think that for a lot of you, this is a time for you to really begin to integrate this higher level of emotional healing and so that you can really raise your vibes and you can become in alignment with your door to personal healing and happiness. So I hope this little mini reading could help Scorpio. Um, happy holidays. Thanks so much for tuning in and take care. Lots of love.